Welcome to Smash University. Bam and Charles here, and uh, if you've been enjoying the content so far, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and join our Discord. All right, and so guys, this is gonna be our first Twitter tech roundup. And so this is gonna be the series where we're gonna go through a lot of the great tech over there on Twitter, of course, hence the name, and a lot of cool concepts, you know, some stuff that we think is still underutilized or just recently discovered to make sure that you guys are up to date on the latest tech. And then after we run through it, we're gonna go ahead and really kind of get granular, get go down into those details and really start to talk about how some of these techs can be applied and how some of these concepts can be utilized to elevate your game. But without further ado, let's get into the tech. All right, so here we have a nice concept of using the block to put yourself out there, go into down tilt. Usually you can't combo anything out of down tilt. Uh, I mean, you can combo off of it on stage, like at lower percents, but I love this because you're using the fact that the block's breaking under you to cancel the lag from the down tilt. And before the down tilt even finishes, you're more like using the down tilt to like lock your opponent by the ledge and then go right into a forwarder. This is probably one of the most practical things in all of uh, in this whole Twitter tech roundup that I've seen. Uh, it's just so good. Yeah, like I, I really love this man. Like I just kind of where this covers so many options, and it's just something that we are going to see more and more of as this game progresses with Steve. Like just being able to ability to have these block cancels. The fact that the block also just is an obstacle as well for people to go around, where it removes some of the counterplay that like you know the initial counterplay you would think that this would have. Then you're going to the cancel. This hitbox is out for a billion years, right? And you're yep. able to just confirm from that. And like, this is this is just easy mode edge guarding, right? Yep. And that's scary, man. That's a very powerful thing, especially for some of these characters in this game. There's some characters in the game that are pretty strong, and their problem usually is edge guarding. But uh, you know, people are learning to get edge guard a bit better. Uh, but edge guarding is you know, a little bit hard. It's definitely harder in this game versus melee, right? But when you have something like this and you can just put it out, this easy money, that's scary. That's very scary. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, the there there could possibly be counterplay here. Um, Lucina could reverse the upbeat attempt to uh, hit Steve before the down tilt comes out, possibly, or maybe um, at least get like some kind of trade so Steve doesn't get this kind of follow-up. You'd probably have to tech the down tilt after it fully goes off. So there, there could, there's definitely um, possible counterplay, but the block could, um, you know, just intercept the transition of the uh, up B. I've seen that happen, right? So Lucina would just, yeah. you know, just die because the block is like, she kind of pineapples on top underneath the block there um, but another thing I like about this uh, concept is you know Steve's forward throw sets this up very well sends at a very low arc um, so you can set yeah. up scenarios like this very easily there's a lot of characters that love recovering at this angle it's a very common like drop zone kind of deal a lot of characters mm -hmm. try to go for that uh, and the fact that Steve does not only have to do this right at the edge you can you can do this facing outwards you can do it high low like the fact that you can just throw down tilt out and then the block, you know, disappears under you and it's like, okay, did my down tilt hit? Yes? Okay. You know, um, use the down tilt lock in place to get the forwarder. Mm -hmm. If not, that down tilt's still active and like sinking lower and lower and you can like, you just dropped off the platform, off the block, right? You have yeah. your double jump. Um, you can essentially like kind of go from there and assess the situation. So I just think in general, like just using block off stage with down tilt is just amazing. And then here it's like peak, like, wow, what do you do there, right? As a lot of characters. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's, yeah, it's so good. And down tilt will forever be good just alone. That is just, it's just huge hitbox just going downward. Um, you just being able to drop stuff like it. That's why even like for, uh, you know, characters like Mithra, right? Just having that up being that shot later, um, you know, to hit people mm -hmm. low, that kind of verticality is always strong in any kind of like game, any kind of fighting game, right? So yeah, this is exciting. I want to see Steve's just really, they are they are going in. Like Steve's are, there, there was a Steve revolution that happened as of late. <laughs> and I just feel like there was like, yo, we're about to, yo, Mike, just come to on everybody. We found the gold, we, we ready to move. Like, <laughs> give us your money. Like, I, I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's really sick to see all the Steve's out here. 
All right, so this one really stuck out to me. Um, Down Smash has always had a bunch of shenanigans, but with Buster Art, you do more shield damage. Now, this character, you know, uh, Shulk, definitely a lot of uh, things you have to consider with all the Monado Arts, but this is a... This right here, what we're seeing, is a true block string. Like, you get hit by this at the yeah. edge, you're you're done. You're just That's done. That's it. It is broken. Yeah, and that... It's so crazy to say that because you just usually don't have true block strings really in Smash, right? There's very, very few. Usually most characters, even on things where like you're going to be negative, you know, out of your shield, you can still drop it and then get hit and like pummeled or whatever. But this, because of the Buster uh, art, like you're just jammed. And the, I, I really love the fact too, that if you do charge normal down smash, there's only a small window through, I believe it's the like third and fourth hit. So that just shows how crazy this is, period. But with Buster Art, it's like, dude, you can forget it. That's a wrap. Like, see you later <laughs> at zero. Like, don't ever get scared of being in the corner <laughs> against this character who has a long sword that you're probably going to be scared of and be in the corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the main reason why this is working is because, you know, Squirtle is at the corner. Um, there's no like pushback like you see Shulk kind of shifting to the left a little bit but not that much right um, and apparently yeah. on this Twitter thread uh, you could do this just with regular reverse down smash and still break like Dark Pit, Pit and one other character like they don't even have to be in the corner as long as you just run yeah. into them and do a pivot down smash like they're just their shields just broken <laughs> like, um, like yep. so the fact that like it works on three characters and it just like breaks their shield without being in the corner and then just works on the rest of the cast while being in the corner like this is crazy and the fact that you get, if whenever you get a shield break on the corner you just got to walk forward make sure that uh, collision happens and you just push them right off and that's a stock no matter yep. what percent yep it's the death doesn't matter yeah and like you said man it, and the thing about it I, I can't stress this enough right if you are center stage with like you said pit dark pit um man I really, I really forgot the other character but um if you are a center stage with those characters, that pivot down smash, like you said, will break the shield. But even against other characters, it will still do a ton of shield damage, if not break their shield. There just happens to be maybe a little gap in certain ways when it's like regular down smash or whatever it may be. So it's just all in all, like this is a very strong tactic and I'm excited to see some Shulks use this more in the future because this does not look super situational. This looks very probable and something you can really kind of almost enforced on your opponent to really have to deal with. Yeah, even doing things like this on normal get up too, even you could add a slight charge, like someone shielding yep. right at the corner and Shulk being grounded with Buster Art is like, that's not hard to do, right? Like It's a very, yeah. Yeah. very uh, applicable just uh, concept slash tech. So uh, yeah, I really, I really like this one. All right, so the Steves are at it again with more uh, block shenanigans. I love this one because again, we're covering this bottom area, uh, like drop zone recovery. And this time it's with the TNT. And what's happening here is uh, we got the TNT set up, we got the block set up, so he bounces the uh, TNT downward, but yep. also setting up the, the detonation button as well. And because forward smash like moves Steve forward, uh, Steve's actually detonating the TNT. So the TNT is not detonating because the forward smash did so much damage and then it hit Piranha Plant. He's just detonating with the foot pedal. So because he moved forward with the forward smash. So you're kind of just... I mean, this, this has got to be the freest two frame, right? Like, look at how big this yep. hitbox is, just like covering all the way down there. I don't know if it's the hitbox is high enough to cover by the edge, but it's sinking very low. So just, uh, I mean, that that is insane coverage. <laughs> but no, that is absolutely massive, man. And yeah, it, <sighs> damn Steve's, man. They're, they're at it. Like you said, dude, they're, they're going ham. And I, I love this so much because you look at it, right? When you see his tech like this, it's like, okay, this looks pretty damning. It looks really strong. How, how, how do this characters set it up though how are they able to do this steve you see him do it with forward smash um you can easily do this with the forward throw because of the low trajectory that it puts characters and the greatest thing i feel about this setup is like you said it's like this is beyond two frame like this is going all the way down so this is going to be hitting a lot of characters but man even if you feel like you didn't have time like you're able to step back and use this for a ledge trap situation yeah 
Yeah. Like that is so strong. That is so, so strong that you have the ability to really be so flexible. And that's kind of one of the craziest things about this character, like the flexibility of the options and you know, they not really losing too much potency because just a lot of insane tech is out there with this character. Right, and if you have the block set up there as well, you could put an anvil there, right? Like at that point, yep. you have so many choices, which mm -hmm. to me always makes a very good concept. Like boom, boom, and like here, it's like okay, I can I can toss the TNT downward, I can put, I can set up an anvil, I can just back up in mine, right? Like there, there's yep. you can you can take the aggressive route, you can take like you know if, if you see your opponent just go low, you're like oh well you're just done, right? Like uh, yeah, hold this <laughs> hold this insta giga flare, <laughs> like. Yo, Acme, yo, Acme, like, you know, hold that Wily Coyote, like, you're done. This is ridiculous. Yeah, so just, uh, just, just having so many different options and being able to cover so many different recoveries, and here it, it doesn't even matter how big your hitbox is. Like, even if Sephiroth has a charged up B coming up, the, does that TNT care? Like, because that is definitely hitting, that has way more range yeah. than the Sephiroth up B, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like... Uh, you there's gonna be a lot of characters that just straight up can't recover versus this. Yep. They just have to hold that L, man. Yeah. So just really the uh, like the Steve's advantage state metagame. I feel like in the last like three or six months or so, just really, I'm I'm always seeing something new every day on Twitter with the uh, with Steve advantage state. So it's really sick to see. Yeah, man, that character is looking very scary overnight and. I think the greatest thing too is again what we're seeing here a common trend we're seeing this with normal blocks right um like wooden toward etc and so th these are the things that make us realize like hey now it seems like yes this character has some mind that is a very big win condition but and the you know you have a lot of characters like that in different in different games right like phoenix Wright is kind of a type of character like this too but the difference is Steve's looking pretty strong, like even base, like some of these things we're seeing now that are pretty crazy these days, they're like base form Steve. And he's still like doing damage. He's still doing kills. Like he's still getting crazy setups. That's the thing that's scariest to me about this, that this character is doing that with not having his full resources filled. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so here we got Pac-Man. Um, <laughs> poor Donkey Kong, always. Uh... Yep. This is a Donkey Kong exclusive, the Hydro Stutter. So yeah. this is a combination of a lot of unique Pac-Man mechanics. Uh, we got the water, which the great thing about Pac-Man, like there's other characters that use water like Mario and Squirtle, um, the water push mechanic, but uh, Pac-Man has it like on a setup tool. So the hydrant, like the water can be going while he, while Pac-Man's doing other moves. And then he has like the bell exactly. stun too. So you're kind of like using both of those with each other to kind of get this really weird uh, kind of state afterwards where they get pushed, but they're they're stunned while they're pushed, and then yeah. they get like a pop up. And you know, as seen here, Pac-Man's able to follow up off of that pop off. So uh, especially with platform stages, it looks like you know Pac-Man's going to be able to secure kills with this with either side B mm -hmm. or smash attacks, which is uh, really interesting. Yeah, man, and like it's so wonky too, right? Where you can kind of you can see where. That depending on where they get hit, like you know where they're gonna go, and so you could see that he's able to combo off this, right? It's getting hit, someone's gonna hit on the left side, and then the character ends up flying all the way back to him for a DI mix up on the F smash or up smash. So insane stuff. Uh, it's cool that there's an, a, a version of this that actually works on all other characters besides DK. And even though you're seeing a hydrant and, and a grab, Guys, this happens a lot more than people think. It's not super, super common, but it happens a lot more than people think. Uh, where you'll see Pac-Man, people are afraid of them running off with fair or something, and they just go ahead for grab, and they're able to grab you on the hydrant. So, yeah, this is, this is cool, man. I really like like this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pa Pac-Man, like you said, Pac-Man going for a grab is definitely not like super common or pl going for a grab on the uh, hydrant I don't think it's super common but it's not super uncommon if that makes sense because uh, because the water is about to push Pac-Man Pac-Man doesn't really have lag so that's the nice thing yeah. about going for the grab on the hydrant um, and I, obviously like any character can do that kind of abuse that fact that you know you're taking away the lag kind of like a uh, Steve blocks in a way but um, right. 
So uh, the biggest part is you're giving up bell pressure. Like you throw the bell up. And if you know of this setup, then you'll be like, oh, he's standing on the hydrant and he threw the bell up. Like I'm just not going to interact with Pac-Man. Um, but this yeah. can definitely be like that cheesy curveball, that cheesy like knowledge mm -hmm. check uh, against another top player, you know, that um, a Pac-Man, a top player or top level Pac-Mans can do. And even lower level Pac-Mans can hit like anybody with a curveball, right? And really just kind of get this True. weird advantage, like put someone on tilt, be like, what did I just get hit by? So, yeah, I, I yeah. definitely think this is uh, this is definitely something good to know about at the very least. Yeah, I agree with that. Like you said, the character uh, creates a lot of scrambles, mainly due with Hydrant and uh, the way that is the fruit charges work and everything. So it's not surprising to see something like this happen. So cool stuff. All right, so here we have double tethering, reducing the intangibility on your getups, um, on your getup options. So normal getup, roll, getup attack, getup attack even to the point where you do not have full intangibility. Like here, it loses intangibility, then the attack comes out. Um, that's huge, man. That's, that is so huge in this game. Yeah, and I think, because uh, I feel like there's a lot of characters with good tether recoveries, and double tethering is a very like common option, so to speak. Like a lot of people use that yeah. to have mix-ups. Um, so I yep. feel like if you force someone to double tether and you're able to get back onto the stage and maybe try to get some kind of punish, because you know, being able to hit them out of their get up attack. Like you can you can essentially just be really aggressive because like look at there's just no intangibility on that roll. Like you can just mm -hmm. feels like you can throw out a lot of meaty options and there's very uh low chance of getting reversal just because of the amount of intangibility your opponent has just being cut so much. Yeah, that's scary. And especially in this game where you can charge smashes super long and a lot of characters have some really, really strong like that's a moves with really, really great knockback. Man, like you already know, getting less sharp is hard in this game already, even with the buffs they did to the intangibility and especially stuff like get up attack, right? To hit people out of their setups. But this is kind of showing like, hey, if you're going for that mix up there, you're gonna you're gonna pay the price. And that's a great, super steep price, far more than what you would if you're like wave landing on a platform or something and you, you lose some of your uh, intangibility, so. Yeah, this is really, really important for people to know, especially for Joker mains. You know, they love their cancels, man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And just even having more confidence in being like, oh, um, he double tethered. If I see normal get up, like I have a really big window. Like I can throw out my up smash yeah. out of shield even earlier and not worry about, you know, hitting that, you know, exact two frame window that it takes to hit normal get up. Like I'm going to have uh, way more frames, like up to like five, six. I tried to count really quick there, but, um, Yep. Maybe even more, <laughs> like you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah. huge game changer, and I think this this could definitely change some matches here and there. I don't think it's like meta defining, but there definitely can be moments where you know this will be a make or break thing in a match. Yeah, I can definitely see that. All right, so here we got uh, a, a Steve combo, of course. The Steves. I feel like the the jab. The jab fair, man. Look at that, 109. Doesn't get the KO, but man, that is a lot of damage. Yeah, and honestly, I mean, we potentially could have seen a route where he ended it up with the up smash and did get a KO, you know? And that's just showing where these Steves have evolved now, right? Where, again, notice this is being done with wood. <laughs> this is being done with all the wood in the world, right? He yeah. just, just laying out there, it's ridiculous. and. We talked about Steve needing to get his win condition, right? And more and more, these guys have gotten these really great combo routes, you know, uh, timing these fares and the jabs. So the jabs are like actually true combo strings. Like, yes, you can use SDI to kind of move around, and make things harder. But Steve's are getting down these really crazy combo routes, man. And this is gonna, this is what's gonna be happening in the future. Like, welcome to offline, dude. Get hit with a hundred or die off a hit, like off a grab. That's insane. Yeah. Absolutely insane. And it just, it really feels like the core is like, can you set up, how many fares can you set up, right? Like spiking them back down to the ground. And it might be even better with wood because the fair might not send them in a tubble where they like bounce off yeah. the ground. So, I mean, obviously with diamond, you just need less hits, less hits in general. So, um, yeah. it definitely situational, but just the amount of actual hits is like insane. And then, of course, 
we've seen so many ways you can use the block extensions and you know just extend into an up smash or a forward smash right there. Um, the, mm -hmm. the great thing about the diamond combos as well is, uh, you know, diamond forward smash just hits so hard. So once you, if yeah. you can combo into that, like people are just getting melted at like 50 or 60. Yep. 100% man. And yeah, you're seeing that. I love that, that the block extensions that you see in from a lot of Steve's where you're going up air block, it's all up air. Man, this, all this stuff really coming together for insane, insane damage and potential kills here. This character is going to be scary, man. It's going to take some time. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's moving forward very, very quickly. And I'm really excited to see Steve's uh, be able to do all of it. And like, yoni has been doing really well and they're still nervous and kind of learning how to uh, play online against top level talent and, you know, potentially going to be doing that against offline talent as well very soon as things open up. But man. Like, once they get all this stuff down, like, <laughs> bro, like, this is IC level. Like, yeah, yeah. This is IC stuff. Yeah, ICs, the Bayonettas, the, the crazy, mm -hmm. crazy combos. So, definitely looking forward to see what they can bring to the table. And yeah, it's just it, it's a it's a very uh, it's especially entertaining to watch too, um, just because it's just like ridiculously long combo strings. So obviously it could yeah. be very frustrating to deal with as a player, but um, I mean that's just the way the game's evolving. And yeah, it, it, to to me, I just think that I think it's nice that Steve looks like it's gonna be like competitive, right? I know at first yeah. a lot of people were like, eh, I don't know, and then the character is finally starting to develop to start looking like a threat in bracket. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I think that what we've seen thus far is pretty much all the DLC that we've gotten from this pack are looking like they can be really solid contenders. Uh, it's not as insane, but it's almost kind of getting to uh, the Smash 4 levels of DLC, you know what I mean? Where they were like, all of them were really, really strong, basically. Right. So it's, it's kind of crazy to see, man. I'm really interested to see what these characters are going to be able to do once we get back and offline. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. That that wraps us up for uh, the Twitter Tech Roundup. And as always, it's always great talking about these things with you, Charles, and really digging into the tech. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And man, we got some more tech coming, right? We got some more stuff coming out. People are starting to get out, really trying to lab and really trying to grind. You know, a lot of people are really excited for the return of offline smash ultimate you know we've played <laughs> less offline than online since this game uh, has been out man and so i'm excited to see more tech and i think we're both excited to show you guys more tech and you know potentially shine some light on how it can be applied and how you can use all that stuff to level up your game but that's pretty much it for us right anything else no, that's that's pretty much it. Those are the ones we wanted to highlight. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. And you can join our Discord as well. All of that information down in the description. And uh, why don't you do the honors, Bam? You already know it, man. Class dismissed. See you guys.